Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about while loop in dart programming so guys this is the format in which we can provide the while loop so we have the while keyword followed by the condition that is i is less than 5 or any other condition that you want to implement so guys this is somewhat similar to the for loop that we had seen in the previous video but guys in the for loop we were first assigning a variable and then we were having the condition and then increment condition all were included in these open and close brackets but in the while loop only the condition are enclosed in the open and close brackets and then this assignment and this increment expression will have to be handled explicitly so guys this we will check in our example so let us say we have a variable over here let's say we have a variable i it is equal to 0 and we want to print from 0 to 5 so guys what we can do is we can provide while keyword followed by open brackets and then i is less than or equal to 5 since we want to print from 0 to 5 and then inside this what we will do is we will have a print statement and then what we are printing is the value of i is dollar i that is this variable now guys what is happening over here is we have provided the initialization that is i it is equal to 0 we have provided the condition as well that is i must be less than or equal to 5 but guys we have not provided a increment expression over here till now so this has to be present after this print statement so what we will do is we will do i plus plus over here and then semicolon let's save this file and try running this code so i'll clear the screen and then let's run this code so as you can see the value of i is 0 and then from 0 till 5 it is getting printed so guys what is happening over here is we have initialized the value of i as 0 and then since i is less than or equal to 5 over here till now so it is printing the value of i that is 0 for now and then it is incrementing the value of i and then again we are going in this loop and then it is checking whether i is less than or equal to 5 wherein the value becomes 1 now after this increment expression and then this is getting printed again with the value 1 and then once it is the value of i plus plus it is equal to 5 that is the last time that the control statement is coming over here and then it is again checking that yes it is the value that is less than or equal to 5 then the i value that is 5 is getting printed and then after that the i becomes 6 and then is i less than or equal to 5 no in this case the i's value is 6 so it comes out of this loop and then it goes over here so guys if we want to print the latest value over here if we say the latest value of i is dollar i so this should return the value as 6 since it has come out of this for loop so let's save this file and run this code so as you can see the value of i is 0 and then it goes to the value 5 and then it comes out of the while loop and then the latest value of i is 6. So since the value becomes 6 over here the control comes out of this while loop. So guys this is the way in which you can use the while loop. If you don't want to use the for loop wherein you can provide all these expressions that is initialization condition and then the increment expression as well inside the open and close brackets so you can use the while loop over here or in any other case if you want to use while loop in your code you can use it in this way now guys there is another variation of this while loop that is do while loop so what happens in this case is so do keyword over here will help you to execute some expressions inside these curly braces at least once followed by a while loop and then the condition will be checked so guys over here let's say we have the variable i equal to 1 over here in this case and then i want to print let's say if i have the do keyword and then followed by open and close curly braces and then i want to print the value of i so the value of i is dollar i and then semicolon and then i provide this the value let's say i provide the condition over here is i less than 1 which means i can be maximum the value as 0 which means that i can go to a maximum value of 0 guys this has to be followed by a semicolon expression over here and then let's save this file and run this code so what is happening over here is the value of i is 1 so at least once this particular expression is getting printed but then what is happening is in the while loop 
is i less than 1 no it is equal to 1 so it comes out of this loop but guys the same thing you cannot do it with the while loop over here so let's say i comment this line of code so i'll toggle the line comment and let's say while i is less than 1 and then i want to print the value of i so i'll copy this and paste this and then after the while loop i want to say out of while loop so guys in this case what will happen is i is equal to 1 but then in the while loop it will be checked whether i is less than 1 no in this case since i is equal to 1 and i can go up to a maximum of the value that is equal to 0 and this condition will be false in the first execution itself so this statement should not get printed it should not go inside this while loop and then after that it will say out of the while loop so let's save this file and run this code so as you can see out of while loop so it did not go inside the while loop so guys if you want to print at least once or else if you want to execute an expression at least once you can use the do while loop in that case in which you will get ensured that the do keyword will at least help you to execute the expression once throughout your code so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video we are going to talk about is control statements in dart programming that is the break and continue keywords so stay tuned